What's up guys, this is James from Geek Blog TV. My friend Wolfie sent me an email and he said that it would probably be a good idea to put together a guide for securing Firefox browser. Now a lot of you have also been emailing me about this, so I figured this is probably a good idea. So all credit goes to Wolfie for putting together this list of awesome best Firefox security plugins. So. Uh, just follow the guide. I'm going to be putting a list of them in the comments so that you can just click through and add them to your Firefox. And this should work on Windows, Mac, and Linux, and other variants of operating systems. So stay tuned, and I'm going to show you a quick screencast of all these plugins and a brief description of what they do. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first plugin that we have on the list is actually a two part plugin right here. Uh, it's called Adblock Plus, and although it kind of hurts my paycheck at the end of the day, this is going to get rid of a lot of the annoying advertisements and things like that. Some of them are still whitelisted, like reddit.com, but that's okay because uh, it's a good website anyway. Uh, the second part of that module is the Adblock Plus pop-up add-on, which is going to keep uh, those websites from sending annoying pop-ups and things like that. I'm going to be putting links to these in the description for you to just do an easy download. Next up we have Better Privacy and this one's gonna take care of some cookies. Some people call them mega cookies, you know, things like that that follow you around and track you. Uh, as it says right here, it's uh, they're called LSOs, but um, yeah, it's just a it's just a best practice for keeping the dirt off of your computer. The next one up we have is Browser Protect. This one is going to uh, safeguard you against browser hijacks and things like that. And you'll be surprised how many websites actually uh, use this as a standard practice. This is what the warning looks like right here. Uh, you'll learn to recognize this one pretty quickly, and you'll be able to block the hijack or add a rule to it. So that one's going to be in the description as well. The next one's going to be Do Not Track Me. This one is kind of like the, uh, the cookies thing in which certain websites want to track you as you're going on uh, you know, from website to website and things like that. It's basically all about gathering your data and using it to better advertise towards you, which makes these kind of handy as well. So the next one comes from the Electronic Frontier Foundation, which is actually a really good organization. If you take a chance to just uh, check out their website, maybe make a donation to them, it definitely helps you out. You know, it's in your best interest. Uh, they really do a lot of care for defending the internet. HTTPS Everywhere, basically, in, it, it enforces SSL everywhere. Now, what's SSL? Well, you'll notice right here, whenever I have, uh, like whenever you log into your Gmail or something like that, it says HTTPS colon slash slash instead of HTTP, and you'll have this little lock icon right there. And although it isn't foolproof, HTTPS adds SSL encryption to your connection, which is a little bit better than just going in there butt naked. So I'm going to put a link to this one in the description description also. Next up we have LastPass Password Manager. Now some of you that use Chrome might notice that they have something called Chrome Sync where it remembers all of your passwords for you and you just have to remember one password so that it unlocks a box of encrypted passwords for you. Well this brings that type of functionality to Firefox, to your phone, your Android, your iPhone, whatever you want. It basically it, it stores all of your passwords in, a, in an encrypted container and you don't have to worry about passwords. Now some of you might be wondering why would I need this? I use the same password for everything. Well first of all, shame on you. If I could roll up a newspaper right now and swatch you on the nose, I would because you should be using really long complex passwords for everything. You shouldn't be writing them down and they should all be different. So I'm going to put a link to this one in the description as well. The next one up is NoScript. Um, some, of, some of you might find this one a little bit annoying at first, but the good far outweighs the bad. Basically, this one is going to, uh, as it says right here, guard you from cross-site scripting and clickjacking attacks. I find it most useful whenever I'm uh, visiting websites like Movie2K and things like that where you just get barraged by pop-ups and all kinds of stuff that's you know, trying to run scripts in the background, Java and things like that. And you can make uh, custom rules for this. As you can see, I've got a no script prompt right here where it's telling me what exactly it's blocking. 
The link for that one is going to be in the description, and I'm going to make a handy guide for you guys to uh, just go ahead and click down the list of links so that you can get all these plugins. The next one is self-destructing cookies. This one is also kind of self-explanatory. It's going to get rid of your cookies whenever you restart your browser. Um, this is good for if you have websites that want to store little nuggets of information on your browser called cookies. It's going to be stored in the cache on your computer and it basically saves settings and little details about you from visit to visit so that you don't have to keep entering them. Well, another thing about it is that cookies can also identify you to certain websites. Um, they tell the website certain things about what you've done on previous visits and sometimes that's not always desirable. So I'll put a link to this one in the description also. The next one is Smart Refer. And just like it says, send refers only when staying on the same domain. Now, as a person that runs a website, this is kind of annoying to me because I can't really tell where you're coming from or what link you clicked to get to my website. Now, what this does is it kind of, it's like the people that use DuckDuckGo. Whenever you search on DuckDuckGo, it's like Google, except it doesn't tell the website where you came from or what sent you there. This is good if you have like, uh, I don't know, I can't think of a very good example right now, but I'm sure if you can uh, check out the, uh, the description right here, you'll be able to figure it out. Um, there's a little whitelist on there that's pretty uh, pretty handy. I suggest that you add Geekblog TV to the whitelist. That way I can gather data to figure out uh, who's sending me traffic, basically. Like what forum linked one of my articles so that I know where you're coming from. Uh, a lot of times you'll see me pop up in certain forums just out of nowhere and just say hello. And this is because I'm finding that there's a lot of traffic coming from this forum. Nitrogen, what's up, man? Anyway, the next one and the final one is Webutation. Some of you people used to use Web of Trust, and my buddy Wolfie that helped me put together this guide actually found out that this one is a better alternative to Web of Trust. Webutation right here, as you can see this little score, it shows what the reputation of the website is. If it has a little red icon like the one here, it's probably not a very good website to be on. And not good in the terms of content, but in, as, in the terms of security. So you want to have it to be a little green icon right there. Uh, it's going to be monitoring for various malicious activities and things like that. Now whenever you're setting up Webutation, you want to set it to on for blocking bad websites and then off for block adult websites. Um, I'm sure if you're under 18 you're going to want to enable this one, right? <laughs> Alright. Well anyway guys, I'm going to be putting a list of these links in the description and um, I'm going to be putting a like a short list for you to just click down the list and install these. They should take you no less than or no more than 10 minutes and uh, if you found this guide useful feel free to drop by my website geekblogtv.com or you can share, like, subscribe or leave me a comment in the set in the leave me a comment in the comments and tell me if I miss any of these that are uh, that are your favorites and I'll be glad to add them to the list on the next video. So thanks for watching guys. Share, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.